So I've added nine new MagSafe wallets to my testing group. These are the top five from the previous group. Think anything has changed? I'm Aaron the Ho, this is Monty the Ho. We've been reviewing iPhone accessories for almost 10 years now, that's a long time. For this round I've tested each product against card capacity, magnetic strength, grip, viewing angles, usability, and other extra features. For this roundup, I've also included case wallet combos, not just wallets. So, you know, did that to give you guys the best review possible. Number 10 goes to the Apple Leather Wallet, and this product probably had the biggest drop in terms of ranking for MagSafe wallets. Why? Because it's overpriced and has a limited carrying capacity. The only upside is that Find My is baked into the wallet and it's made from real leather. Now you might be thinking, wow, that was a really glowing review of this product. It must be really bad. No, number 10 is still better than all of these. There are so many terrible MagSafe wallets out there. Number nine goes to the Autobox MagSafe wallet, and I'm really not sure why I missed this on my first go around since the Autobox MagSafe wallet has been around since the iPhone 12s. Now from my perspective, this is the perfect non-daily MagSafe wallet. It carries two cards, but also has a cash slot, so it's perfect for nights where you just need an ID, some cash, and a credit card. Another reason why this is the perfect going out MagSafe wallet, this thing's not coming off your iPhone, like the magnetic strength on this product is top notch. Number eight goes to the Casefy Leather MagSafe wallet and it's the best card only holder style wallet in this video. It's been updated since the first time I reviewed it as Casefy has added other magnets and an anti-slip finish on the back to improve the connection between the device and the wallet. This MagSafe wallet can only carry three cards but like all Casefy products allows you to do a custom monogram on it. Now in previous roundups I focused purely on standalone wallets but as I said earlier, that's changed. The Bellroy mod is the first case wallet combo in this top 10 list and it would rank higher if Bellroy didn't use something called mod rails. These rails on the back do an amazing job of keeping your wallet attached to your mod case, especially when you drop it, but this case can only be used with Bellroy's cases. So you're kind of stuck, which might not be a deal breaker for some people, but given that MagSafe accessories are meant to be modular, these mod rails really just don't make any sense from my perspective. Again, if you don't do any case switching, then this might work out very well for you. The wallet itself is very well but I am very impressed. It can hold three cards, so card access is a little finicky as you have to pull out at least two of them to get to the third. Now I'm a big fan of the hinge action on the wallet. The magnetic click when it closes is just so very, very satisfying. The flap also doubles as a stand in landscape mode only. Now the mod case itself is very thin, very minimalist, though it won't offer your iPhone a lot of drop or screen protection as other cases in this video. Friendly reminder, I'm a reviewer, not an influencer, so if you want to help keep my stuff unsponsored, get your stuff through my links. All right, let's keep going. Now in general, I get annoyed when I see this Moth product. I really don't know why so many people love it. I do like the design of the product as it's supposed to be a wallet stand and kind of a pseudo phone grip. It can hold a maximum of three cards, though it does take a bit of coaxing to get all the cards out. Now the pseudo phone grip really isn't that comfortable. The highlights, the uh, worst part about this product is that it comes off incredibly easily. When it's folded down like this, not bad, but when it's folded up, absolutely terrible. I will say that this is one of the very few products that allows you to use it as a stand in both landscape and portrait mode, which is incredibly handy. Now in general, this Moth wallet is better than the Flash. Seriously, I don't understand Moth because it seems like they have amazing design ideas, but the execution of them are just downright terrible. I will be doing a review on this. It'll be in one of my YouTube shorts, so do check that out. Number five goes to the Peak Design Wallet, and it has the highest card capacity in my collection of MagSafe wallets. Basically a giant backpack for cards. Card access isn't bad as there's a tab to help you pull all the cards out, but you still kind of have to sort through them once you pull them all out to find the one you need. The standalone feature of the Peak Design Wallet is the hinge. It allows you to set the perfect angle for both portrait and landscape mounting. The hinge also doubles as kind of a pseudo grip as well. Now the wallet by itself comes off quite easily on the iPhone and really needs to peak every day case to shine. Now the case itself isn't too bad. The buttons are a little too stiff for my liking. I don't think it's a, as protective as it should be. And the back of the case is too thick, so you don't actually get 15 watts of wireless charging with your MagSafe charger. You only get about seven and a half, maybe 10. Now, I will admit that the mounting system the Peak has is unique and sturdy enough, though it's not the best mountable iPhone case system from our perspective. Check out that video if you wanna know more. Now, I used to think ESR was kind of a dumpy brand, but in the last couple of years, I think they're making a change. Their Halox series is pretty solid. The wallet stand is one of the best MagSafe wallets that I've used. It functions exactly like the Peak Design wallet in terms of the hinge and stand features, but it only carries three to four cards. Now the layout of the wallet is different as the interior card slots are cut lengthwise, so it opens more like a traditional wallet when accessing those cards. Seriously, open your wallet like this? Isn't that how a wallet's supposed to open? Like that just seems so natural to me. There are two things that concern me about this product, which is the relative weak magnetic strength of the connection between the wallet and the device, and the front pocket stretching enough that if you put two cards in it at once, you'll always have to have two because one will fall out because it just stretches. Now the Moth Flash Wallet is similar. It's got that hinge feature, but one of the things that Moth didn't think about is that when you open it up fully, it comes right off. That doesn't happen with the Halo Lock. Hello? I honestly can't believe I paid $50 for this. Like it's just, 
Some, some products are just such a waste of money. Anyways, if you like unsponsored content, make sure, again, get your stuff through my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. And I do like producing unsponsored content because I get to say whatever I want. Number three goes to the Ghost Tech Exec 6. Now the Exec series has really come a long way. The sixth iteration of this wallet is an absolute killer. We'll see. Both the case and wallet have a soft rubber coating which feels nice, though fingerprinting will be an issue. The wallet is similar to the Bellroy Mod case as the flap snaps together magnetically so it's very satisfying to open and close. The wallet also opens up at such an angle that you can set up your iPhone in both landscape and portrait mode so the portrait mode angle is very shallow. The wallet can hold three cards and Ghost Tech utilizes a clip system to store the cards so it's easy to select the card that you want. You don't have to pull them all out. The clip also acts as a money clip for a couple of bills. Very handy. Now where I'm from, Businesses are now allowed to start charging consumers for the credit card transaction fee. So I personally am going to start carrying a lot more cash because that's just dumb. Uh, so this wallet is awesome for that. Cards and cash. Now the Exec 6 is missing the second array of magnets, so it'll rotate a bit on the case. It doesn't move around too much because of the soft rubber coating, but it is worth noting, and I've been told that some people actually might even like that movement. The case itself is very thin and has oversized corners to help with case protection. The case is very grippy and sits very well in my hand. Now the back of the case is thick enough that a MagSafe charger isn't going to provide 15 watts of wireless charging, which is unfortunate. But to compensate for that, Ghost Tech has created a mounting system called MagnaLink on the case, so it'll be interesting to see what they come up with. Well, none of the nine new wallets that I added to my test collection knocked off mag back from the top two. This wallet itself can carry five to six cards easily and there's a partition to help you organize your cards. Each side of the wallet includes a quick access feature so you're not stuck trying to pinch your cards out of the wallet. Wallet portion also has a finger loop which doubles as a phone grip and unlike other loops is adjustable if you remove some of the stitches. The magnetic connection between the wallet and the bare iPhone is very average but, but the moment that you use it with the Magback case it's incredibly solid. This silicone case comes with larger corners for extra screen and drop protection and there's still Magback's own magnets baked in the case so it can mount your iPhone anywhere. The case is also thin enough that you get 50 15 watts of wireless charging with the MagSafe charger. That 50 watts charging feature is actually one of the reasons why this case still maintains its top ranking because, well, it doesn't get in the way of using your iPhone. I'll be honest with you, I'm tired of making content for this product. But it's the best one, so here we go again. The Pop Wallet Plus is the best MagSafe wallet for two reasons. It's a wallet that offers great card access, and there's a pop socket on it. It connects to any case or iPhone that I've used, though it's not as strong as the Pop Grip, but not weak enough that I'm concerned about it. You can customize the entire look of the Pop Wallet Plus, or you can buy a plain one and just swap out the pop socket. The only downside is that you can only use the Pop Wallet Plus as a stand in landscape mode, and it only carries three cards. You could do four if you don't mind the squeeze. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. First time watching my videos, do hit subscribe. Again, review not influencer, unsponsored content. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it's time for a nap.